Know your enemy. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, and against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Obtaining and safeguarding intelligence information in the army is a key part of their operations. They invest heavily in gathering information on their opponents. The business world also does something similar. Companies do extensive research on their competitors so as to identify the competitor's weak spots and use that to their advantage. When we receive the Lord Jesus as our Savior, a battle line is drawn. This simple but important act signifies our loyalty to God rather than the devil. So the devil fights us. It also means that we have joined the Lord's army that is ready to win souls for God through evangelism. In this case, we Christians wage the war on Satan. Finally, accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior connotes our preparedness to destroy the plans of the devil through prayer and ensure the kingdom of heaven on earth. Here too, we are on the offensive. It is therefore important that we know our enemy. We know our enemies. They are not humans. That is the old serpent called Satan. Satan is working through principalities, through rulers of darkness of this age, through spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. These tools, agents of Satan, oppose God's will for mankind and accuse the brethren. They do not fight God because they cannot. No, they can't stand up against God. They fight us instead. They fight us whom God loves. It is almost to say, we will target your children to get to you. God being the greatest father of all has equipped us, his army on earth with power and strength so that whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. We must therefore put on the full armor of God so that we stand our ground when the day of evil comes. In addition to all of this, we must take up the shield of faith with which we can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. We must put on the helmet of salvation and use the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The entire contingent is expected to pray in the spirit in all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, we must be alert and always pray for all the saints. The enemy was defeated over 2,000 years ago. It is our duty to keep him locked away until the Lord appears. Away! Away from our lives, away from our families, away from our careers, away from our education, away from our friends, away from everything we hold dear. Begin to pray now, beloved. Jesus has won the victory for us. Let's enforce it. There is victory through the blood of Jesus. Amen.